G'day mate, welcome to Captain Industry with me, Jiddy. Quite recently, quite recently, I was stuck with a conundrum. I was stuck with a giant conundrum. I had no, no buildable areas. I had no flat terrain to build upon, but there was a mountain in my way and a sea that I could fill in. So I decided to do the right thing. I set the excavators to work and I told them to remove the mountain that was in my way. And they did a wonderful job. They cleared the mountain in no time whatsoever. The catch was I spent a lot of time hanging around waiting for the trucks to transport all the rock and all the dirt that we'd found we'd boxed up and put in containers across the map to dump into the sea. And I thought to myself, surely there has to be a more efficient way of doing this. Surely I could definitely improve this situation. Surely I could save myself some time. So today I devised a race. I devised a race between belt and machine and bucket to work out what is the fastest way, fastest way possible to transport materials across the map. And today we're going to conduct that race together. We're going to make sure that we pick the fastest way, the cheapest way, the most efficient way to transport mass amounts of material across the map. Uh, so we have a little experiment set up. Uh, not using this bucket, not using this bucket, but we are going to be using some belts, uh, we are going to be using some buckets, and we are going to be using some trucks. First off, let's talk about the trucks. The trucks I've given all the advantages in the world. I have made sure they have fuel saver 1 and 2, so we can save a little bit of diesel. At the same time, we have overload trucks 1 and 2, so they carry 30% more materials, and they use 30% less diesel. On top of that, we're only using two of the trucks, because, let's be honest, the pickups are pretty crap. Um... So we're using the standard truck, the standard truck, which ha is going to use 1.1 diesel per month. And we have the bigger truck, which is going to use 2.3 diesel per month. So that is our plan. Uh, now, our experiment has been set up over here. And we are racing five of the finest transportation methods against one another. We have 10 of the trucks because they use, uh, with our savings, uh, they use 7.7 .7 diesel per month. We have five of the dump trucks, which move, uh, which use 8.05 diesel per month. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. At the same time, we have four of the Mark III transport belts, each moving 450 items per minute, which means our bucket of, what, 4,300 materials is going to be emptied in about 140 seconds. That's pretty fast. Uh, and then, of course, we have, well, chain storage, because... I know I can chain storage containers together. The question is, which is the fastest? Which is the fastest transport method? Which is the fastest to move things across the map? Uh, at the same time, we are moving things across the Curlan map. It's a slightly long map. It's a dead straight line. And I've also boxed in the trucks, so they can't get any help from their friends, because that would be cheating. Uh, and our plan is to make sure we have import turn on at this end. We're going to have export at that end. And we have a bridge put at the roughly about the halfway mark. Uh, if we zoom out a little bit further, we can see that that's roughly about the halfway mark. So we know sort of where the halfway line is. And what I want to do is I want to start our race on the 1st of January. I want to keep things as fair as possible. I want to start things at the 1st of January. That way we have a good timeline to work out our costs because we're going to have a certain amount of costs moving things across the map uh, obviously our trucks are going to use diesel and our belts are going to use power they're going to use 100 kilowatts each whilst they're active I should mention that that's whilst they're active if they're not active they're not using power um, same goes for the trucks they're not active they're not using diesel they're also not really using maintenance so that's something else we need to keep in mind uh, it's also something else I should add to our list the trucks eventually have to go refuel which is going to give you some downtime. It's one of the reasons I have the fuel saver turned on, so hopefully we don't have any refueling during our test. But with all that said, um, can you do me a favor? Can you let me borrow a like? I'd like to borrow a like right now, just before we start the race. We're going to start the race on the 1st of January, but can I borrow the like for the moment? And by all means, if you didn't enjoy the race, you weren't curious as to the results, uh, I'll remind you guys and you can have your like back. So now it's the 1st of January and our experiment can start. We are going to start off with uni building uh, all our storage containers. We're also going to set U to empty and U to empty. And with that done, we're going to start our race running. Now, a couple of things I should mention very, very quickly. Um, although the trucks have somewhat of a disadvantage because they have to wait for that queuing thing, it has been much improved. So it's going to be a little bit faster. At the same time, their buckets needed to wait for these to get built, which took a moment, but they got built um so i think it's a pretty fair run overall we can already see that the small trucks are made at the halfway point but you gotta remember uh we have 10 of these moving 78 items each 
which means we're going to get to this end and they're going to move uh, 780 total iron ore from one end to the other. They're going to need 5.5 trips to fill this bucket all the way up. So that's 5.5 times all the way from that end to this end and back. That's, that's a lot of trips. Uh, it's also a lot of time. Uh, as for the big trucks, the big trucks, they move uh, 200 and what? 234 items each, which means they only need to have what 3.7 trips they have less trips to run but as you can see they're a little bit slower as for our belts uh well i want to say 140 seconds um that's what two and a bit months it's been two and a bit months and lo and behold um our bucket is empty well almost empty it's it's now empty yep everything is on the belts the belts are moving at full speed now the belts i should mention very very quickly uh cost four or uh, two thousand two thousand tier three construction parts along with three thousand rubber uh, they're not exactly cheap uh but the belts have got to halfway as for the trucks they're about to complete their second trip as for our chain storage um I think the answer is whether you're using one port or whether you're using two ports, uh, they run at the same speed. Also, I'm pretty sure they came out as a clear winners, moving everything from one end of the map to the other in under five months. Under five months. Yeah. Um, that's pretty fast. In fact, that is, what, four times faster? Four times faster than dump trucks, I'd say at least. Yep, uh, way faster than, oh, three times faster than the mini trucks. And, well, they got everything from one end of the map to the other faster than belts did. Um, much faster than belts did. Much, much faster than belts did. Now, as the belts do cost 2,000 construction parts, as for the storage containers, they cost 1,200, oh, 1,200, plus 1,200, plus 1,200, plus, uh, that's too many of them. It's 21. Uh, 21, whatever it happens to be. Um, there's 127 of them here, which cost me 3,810 construction parts. But in saying that, from my construction parts, I'm going to get a 97% refund when I remove them all. So, my buckets cost me 3%. What's that? Um, 100, 100 construction parts to build. And, well... I had to build them, then I had to unbuild them. So in the end, they cost me 100 construction parts. Sure, they definitely take the time and the labor for the trucks to move them across and build them, or Unity. Uh, as for the belt, same story. Um, I will get a 97% refund, and they cost, what was it, 1,800 parts? Uh, no, uh, 1,900 parts, which, well, technically, as we need two parts, two to make a parts three, they cost about the same, except the buckets didn't need any power. Nor did they need any rubber. The belts needed power and they needed rubber. They do have the advantage of, well, I can build a bridge and we can get across them. So that's definitely an advantage. Uh, as for the trucks, well, they're convenient. They are super convenient. Uh, they are neck and neck at this point. Um, but we're now into eight months in. Eight months in, we're about to come up on month number nine. And the belts have just finished. So the belts took nine months. Uh, the direct storage took four months, wasn't it? Uh, as for the trucks, well, we're into September and they're still going. Um, actually, this might be the last for the dump trucks. Really? You've got another trip to go? Oh, wow. That's going to be neck and neck between the two of them. Uh, come on, guys. Load up. But I've also got every other truck on the map paused. I've gone with maximum advantage to the uh, the trucks. I have turned off the AI for everything else. In fact, this is a test map, which means nothing runs. And I'm willing to bet, for some reason, these guys haven't been assigned to pick up this iron ore. The trucks at the other end have, uh, which is unfortunate. And you should have one more dump truck load up. Yep, we've got 78. We can't pick that up because uh, game, game mechanics and you know, not having partial loads, but that's okay. That's okay. We, we just need a complete test. Uh, 12th. So we're in the 12th month. If these guys get this completed, it would be a year. It would be a year using eight diesel per month, uh, eight diesel per month, 8.05 diesel multiplied by 12 months is hundred diesel, hundred diesel to mean 4,000 items across the map. You guys have just quit. You've just quit on me. Have you? 
Okay, trucks have done that truck thing. Uh, I would call the dump trucks definitely the winner. The medium trucks, not so much the winner. Uh, we use 96 diesel for the dump trucks. We use 7.7 .7 times 12. We use 92 diesel for the medium trucks, and they definitely lost. Uh, belts wise, well, belts came in um, a, a close second place with it only took them like four months and probably took you six months to lay the belts across the map because they are super slow to build and then we have storage containers coming in the absolute win whether you're using two ports or one port the answer is it doesn't matter because they are both faster than anything else but with all that said um this is the point we're going to remind you guys look we did a little experiment we found out which is the fastest which is the slowest by all means leave a like on the video i very very much appreciate it if you didn't already at the same time if you enjoy seeing experiments and tutorials like this consider dropping a subscribe there is a playlist down in the description also on the end screen probably right about now uh invite you to have a look at the playlist have a look at the captain mystery playlist for different tutorial videos that i've done in the past but with all that said i'm going to leave this video here i think it was a very good experiment and my answer is from now on i'm going to be chaining storage containers uh all the way up to the very edge of the mountain and as close to the sea as possible only using belts where i have to so i can get trucks to pass and only using trucks for the very last mile because oh my god there are so many mountains in the way and this island needs to be flat with all that said thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed i'll see you guys in the very next video all right bye